Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be talking about scripting, which I don't know if you guys have heard about this or maybe you're hearing about it for the first time because I'm talking about it here with you now. But what scripting is, is painting this story, writing this elaborate story, this tale of how you want something to manifest. That thing being maybe your life, maybe your day, maybe your relationship, maybe your career, maybe your coffee, I don't know. This guy really truly is the limit. It's very similar to writing a petition or writing an intention, but it's erring on the side of tapping into your imagination and making a creative story. It's interesting because in my last video, I don't know if you guys saw this, I was talking about angels and connecting with your angels and connecting with your guides. And in that video, I answered the question of Jess, is imagination good or bad? And I say it's neither good nor bad, it just is what it is. This is kind of one of those moments where I say that imagination is so good because it's allowing you to really elaborately paint this creative story, this creative storytelling for how you envision something to manifest within your life. And the more you are able to, to use your imagination, to tap into your imagination and to create this creative story and that you're able to pull from your emotion and pull from those visions, the more it will help you to manifest that vision within your life. It's kind of a mouthful, but let me go ahead and you know scale back because I wanna give it to you guys and I wanna give it to you good like I always do. But let's say you want to travel and that's something that is that you wanna manifest within your life. So instead of writing like an intention or a petition to the universe where you say, dear universe, dear divine, I see myself traveling here, I wanna travel here, I'm gonna to go to Paris, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna eat this. So you're writing down in your petition, in this visualization, in this intention, what it is that you're trying to manifest, right? Then you fold it up, you put it away, you use candle magic, whatever. But when you're scripting, pretty much what you're doing is not only are you incorporating your intention and you're writing your intention down, but you're painting out using your words, using your mind and connecting with your feelings, how it kind of unfolds as if you're writing a story. That's why it's called scripting because it's like the script of how it will unfold within your life. There's two things I love about this. Number one, I feel like this really connects with your intuition and your feelings so easily now me I love working with the energy of mercury because I'm a Virgo and I love using the power of words and the mind to create to manifest I do this all the time in my real life for those of you guys that don't know and if you don't know then I want to invite you to subscribe because I talk about this all the time and I've mastered it for myself in all areas of my life so I love that aspect of it but I love the idea and I think that this will be very successful and has been very successful scripting for me and it will be for you to not only to write your intention down but to paint this elaborate picture and the story of how it unfolds this is your moment to really kind of tap into your imagination your creative sides to the point where you are not limiting yourself hopefully fingers crossed you're not limiting yourself so you allow yourself to just explode when it comes to how this could manifest, how this would happen. And because your mind is in a space of, I'm telling a story, it will help a lot of you guys to stop limiting yourself because when you're writing it, you're just truly writing a story. So it helps you to kind of stop thinking, well, is this realistic? Is this something that can happen? Is this practical? For those of you guys that find that you have a more practical, realistic approach to things, this could really be a gem for you because if your brain is allowed to approach it from such a creative side then maybe you allow yourself to be more expansive and more expressive when it comes to actual laws of attraction putting things out there and manifesting them within your lives this is also a wonderful tool for those of you guys that don't believe in the universe being abundant or don't believe in God or the divine so you don't want to write petitions or you feel very uncomfortable working with candle magic or setting intentions. Just your ability to kind of like write this story and do this creative writing exercise essentially but you're using it to manifest and you're using it to visualize how things are going to occur or how you would likely to see things to occur and you're disconnecting yourself so much from the pressure and the intensity of writing it down in an intention or writing it down as um, a petition or writing it down you know for candle magic this will just open the door for you limited limitless potential all right so now that I'm pretty much I'm sure at this point I've sold you on this let me tell you how to do it which is pretty self-explanatory you're gonna want to get a journal or a notebook for the time of me filming this this has been my diary lately even though it seems pretty basic that's just how I am I don't really spend a whole lot of money on journals right now because I'm constantly journaling I'm always writing so 
I go through them really fast. I personally just want a journal or a composition book. The pages aren't gonna fall out or be ripped out. I want them to be binded. So this is one of those composition books that just happens to have a lot of color on it. And I chose the pineapple one because I'm in that juicy, vibrant empress energy in my life currently so the pineapple was the one that i naturally gravitated towards and that's been my journal so this is as far as i've gone anyways so then you want to use a pen and for those of you guys that know me i love a sharpie pen moment when it comes to setting intention writing intentions writing petitions manifestations all those things but at this point i'm using a precise v7 rolling ball pen that you can get at any target any walmart amazon buy it in bulk because you're gonna blow through these pens, or at least I do. I love writing everything down, but again, it's because I'm a Virgo, ruled by the planet Mercury, and that's all we do is write, and we think, and then we overwrite, and then we overthink. That's just a part of our charm. What you wanna do is you take that pen, take your notepad, take a notebook. You wanna think about what it is that you want to focus on manifesting within your life. Let's go back to my example of going to, going like traveling and going for a trip. So you wanna write it as if it's a story. I like to use it in first person, meaning like, okay, I decide that I am going, no, I'm sleeping one day, I'm gonna make this up as we go along. I'm sleeping one day and I have this dream, this vivid dream. Now this isn't real, I'm just making this up. I'm scripting, but I'm speaking it out and I'm not writing it down. I had this dream, it's super vivid, and I see myself in Paris while I wake up and I'm so excited and I decide, okay, I am going to go on this trip. So I pull up my laptop, I open it up, and I pull up Google Flights, I can see that Coincidentally, the flights from New Orleans to Paris, or St. Pete to Paris, are $678. Well, I pull up my account, I see that I have $679 in my account. Coincidence? I think not. Again, you guys, this is me telling this elaborate story to you guys right now, but let's pretend like I'm writing it all down. So I book this flight, I grab my passport, my new bag, because that's something I'm manifesting within my life. I really want a, this is, this is probably what I'm gonna script, is how the next bag that is that I'm gonna get, and I'm actually going to invest invest in it, kind of like a treat yourself moment. But um, anyways, so I grab my bag and then I dig, 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 and I find my passport and I throw all my stuff in there and the flight leaves the next day. So I have two days to get my life together. I have two days to get ready. Well, let me tell you, I grab my stuff, I throw it all together. It's just enough time for me to do laundry. I jump, jump on this flight. I sit next to the hottest guy. When I tell you this guy is so hot, tall, dark, handsome, he's a Capricorn, because me as a Virgo, I love Capricorns, just between you and I. So do you guys see how elaborate and like ridiculous the story might be? But it's just me putting it out there, right? The odds of it manifesting are are actually pretty high just from my experience because anytime I speak something or write something it's going to manifest but especially if my intention is for it to inevitably to manifest within my life what I really want you guys to to see is how much I tapped into my feelings how much I tapped into how it made me feel how excited I was the details of it let's say I wanted to dive a little deeper into the details which I highly recommend it's like okay the bag felt heavy it felt smooth it was leather for those of you guys that don't like leather my apologies don't drag me on the internet it is what it is my passport it had a new cover on it um i threw that in there i rolled up my clothes i was gonna go for light dresses because it's summertime and i'm traveling during this time and when i got Ooh, who's texting me? Oh, my girl, my friend, yo. Okay, so anyway, so the point of the story is, the moral of the story is that you really wanna tap into those feelings and pull and be creative with it. Don't limit yourself. That's the true magic of this and what is going to work so well for some of you guys is that you're not gonna be able, your brain is doesn't have the opportunity to limit itself because it's so stuck on creative writing and creative expressive, but this comes for with the intention of manifesting what it is, whatever it is that you want within your life. Now again, you can use it for your love life, you can use it for your day, you can use it for your entire life, you can use it for this trip. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest is what it is that you can use scripting for. Then you wanna keep it in that journal and just walk away and allow it to manifest within your life. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like this is brilliant. I think it's genius. I've used it before, but I've only used it a few times, but I'm gonna use it a lot moving forward into the future. Probably not during a full moon or a new moon, just in between times, in between times between that, because new moon and full moon intention writing just works so well for me. But anyways, in the meantime, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell too, because I have some goals I'm trying to hit and manifest for 2019, and I will see you guys hopefully in my next video. Bye.